So we're going to start the new material for today's lecture by taking a look at our graphical vector math worksheet. And again, if you haven't gone back and watched it, go back and review your stuff from vectors and the grid vectors that we did last class. Now this is the worksheet that I handed out in class on Thursday. And again, if you've lost it or if you weren't there in class on Thursday, you'll need to print it out from Blackboard for the folder for today. I'm going to go ahead and make things a little bit zoomed in just so we can keep track of what's going on and focus on one area at a time. So we have our list of vectors up here. The first question that we have is in the space below, draw a vector that is equal to a. So let's go back and look at our equation up here. Our equation says 3i hat, which means it has to be 3 to the right and 2j hat means it's 2 upwards because it's plus 2 j hat. So I'm just going to take this little description here and drag it down. And I'll draw my arrow that's 3 right and 2 up in this set of boxes. Now I'm using a graphic program, so I actually have a little arrow function on here. Of course, you're going to be doing this on your paper. It doesn't matter exactly where you start, but since we're going to the right and up, you probably want to start somewhere down in here. So I'm just going to pick a point and go 1, 2, 3 to the right, and then drag it 2 up. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bolder so it's easier for you guys to see. So I went 1, 2, 3 boxes over to the right and 2 boxes up. So that's equal to A. Now, any vector which goes 3 up and 2 right is also equal to A. So I could have started on this box and put an arrow in and gone 1, 2, 3 to the right, 2 up. And that one is also equal to A. So any vector which has those same components is equal to A. Now 